Well, we have the big story today. The Taiwanese incumbent president Tsai Ing-wen has won the presidential polls by a decisive margin. The opposition candidate Han Ko Yu has conceded defeat, saying his rival president Tsai Ing-wen has won a second term. Listen in. I want to thank each and every person who voted for the Tsai Lai ticket, as well as everyone who supported our DPP candidates. Thank you for choosing democratic and progressive values and for choosing the path of reform and unity. Well, the election will be certainly a blow to Beijing in a sense as Tsai Ing-wen has pitched herself as a defender of Taiwan's liberal values against the increasingly authoritarian shadow caste by Beijing under President Xi Jinping. China and uh, Hong Kong and the unrest in Hong Kong have become major elements in the election as Beijing ramped up efforts to get Taiwan to accept its rule, both through military intimidation and offer uh, or one country, two systems formula. The vote uh, will be sending ripple effects far beyond its borders with the two presidential rivals laying out very different visions for Taiwan's future. Tsai Ing-wen, the incumbent Taiwanese president, uh, heads the Democratic Progressive Party which favors an independent Taiwan. Tsai Ing uh, it was first elected in 2016 as the president of Taiwan along with the majority in Taiwan's legislature called Yuan. Tsai Ing, uh, in her first tenure, tried to steer Taiwan further away from China's orbit. Her opponent, who has now conceded defeat, uh, Han kong -yu, uh, of the Kuomintang Party, favored warmer ties with China. Han wanted closer economic and cultural ties with Beijing and sought a less adversarial relationship with mainland China to secure Taiwan's economy in the long term. Taiwan is the world's 21st largest economy, but ever since 1949, when the civil war ended, the Chinese Communist Party has considered Taiwan to be a mutinous breakaway province that must be reunited with China by force if necessary. And earlier we spoke to our correspondent Grace Lee in Taipei about what this means for China. Well, this definitely indicates a kind of a thorny future for Taiwan and China. Uh, the ca past couple of years haven't been great for their relationship either. Tsai Ing-wen has been very openly defiant of Beijing's rule. And when uh, Beijing, uh, you know, kind of said that, hey, why don't we try this one country, two systems rule, she has downright refused. That's the same rule that Hong Kong and Macau are governed under. And uh, Tsai Ing-wen and her supporters have pointed the finger towards Hong Kong saying, hey, it's not working there. It's not going to work in Taiwan. So she's been very defiant of Beijing's efforts to try and unite with Taiwan going forward. It's not going to be any easier for China. And this is a, a huge thorn in the side for them, especially as they try to deal with the anti-government protests in Hong Kong, which have been going on for seven months and counting now.